What's up, YouTube? Hey, I can't say long time no see because I just saw you guys a couple days ago. Anyways, last day of my February vacation and I have to go fishing. Got done with baseball. It's been a long week of baseball. Practice basically every single day. Uh, got to get my guys ready. We got three games next week. We're jumping right into the season. So we had to make sure we put in a little extra time. Got our guys ready to go. Anyways, I uh, got home. Have a couple couple hours to kill until, until I got uh, some plans later on today. Figured beautiful weather outside here in California definitely have to go fishing especially because it's the last day of vacation so I'm gonna head up to Pardee Reservoir kind of towards going towards Amador County Calaveras County that way uh, they just opened up I think last week about a week ago uh, it's, it's been fire people just been catching a bunch buddies of mine been catching some up there so I'm gonna go up there see what I can get into if I can get in some trout I got a bass spot on the way home, uh, Pond X, that probably will produce today. So I don't want to start talking multi-species, multi but if I can get into some trout, maybe a smallmouth bass, never caught a smallmouth bass before. They got some pretty good smallmouth bass and spots um, at party. If I could get into those, we could do the trifecta, maybe even the fourfecta, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Uh, just got done over here at Orlando's. Big shout out to Orlando, man. Sam and the crew, they're always they're always taking care of me when I come in here. Uh, this is the last stop between here and Valley Springs, so if you guys need anything when you're coming from Stockton Bay Area, going up to the foothills, if you need anything going up Highway 26, stop in here at, at Orlando's. They got gas, they got food, got some tackle, got some water, got some energy, got everything you need here. Uh, that's, that's about it. I think I'm ready to go. I need to get on the road, get up to Party, so... Got some John Party. <laughs> Get it? Super corny, I know. Got some John Party. Got some country music. We're heading heading up the road. I'll see you guys out on the water. Paid and got in. Everybody goes to the left side to the marina. You know my deal. I don't like to be around people, so I came to the right side, went as far as I could. Beautiful, beautiful shot of the lake here, the reservoir, whatever you want to call it. Um, water's somewhat muddy over there, towards that end. So I'm gonna stick to this side. The water looks crystal clear right here. Got to the spot, of course. Ultra Vibe's already hooked up, ready to go. Could have went to the left like everybody does. Go to the main, you know, part of the marina where where they stock all the fish at. They just stocked this morning. But I like to, like I said, I just like peace and quiet. I like to get away, so went to the right as far as I could go. Heading towards the big, the big dam, bigger part of the lake, uh, reservoir, whatever you want to call it. See if I can get. I like the holdovers, anyways. I feel like the holdovers are a little bit more, a little stronger. That holdovers are fish that are already in the lake that have been planted in previous plants, years, whatever, and still, still living there. I feel like the new planters are kind of, kind of hit and miss. You know what I mean? Take some while to get acclimated to the water, and then. Well, first cast was a failure. As I was saying, the holdovers that have been living in the lake for, you know, a while, I feel like just they're stronger, cleaner, healthier fish. Planters are, you know, just off the, just off
just off the truck getting acclimated to the water temperature and all that kind of stuff so I think it I don't know I just kind of I'd rather catch a holdover anyways actually I'd rather just catch a fish <laughs> YouTube help me out. Let's welcome back Bumblebee. If you remember from the Chasing River Giants episode with Eric while we were fishing the Macomia, lost Bumblebee and Caltrans both on the same tree that was submerged in the water. So I was out buying tackle a couple days ago. Saw Bumblebee and Caltrans sitting next to each other. I think it was the Dick Sporting Goods or something like that. I was like, man, I gotta get them, get them back in the tackle box. So, unfortunately, the Ultra Vibe got snagged on the rocks right here. Broke, broke it off, so I had to retie. Wasn't getting any followers and bites or anything like that. So, going with the old Bumblebee Rooster Tail. See if you can bring me some luck. Wonder if that guy over there is getting tired of hearing me talk already, because <laughs> it's. Super quiet out here, except for me babbling on. Two casts, no followers. Just can't resist the urge to throw the jerk bait right here. It's like a good place. <clears throat> Water's fairly deep, nice and clear. Dying to, dude, I'm dying to catch a smallie. I know they got smallies in here, that'd be pretty sweet. Oh my buddies, Eric's caught, caught some good smallies out of here before. Try to get into one of those and make the old trip well, well worth it. Gotta throw Robbie Rainbow. He wants to swim with his buddies. Oh Robbie, you're so heavy. Never know. Big old bass might be hungry. That'd be pretty sick. It's so nice and quiet out here. Swim so slow. I was hoping I'd look up to see a big old bass following him, but negative. Kept walking around on another cove here. Nice and secluded, protected from the wind. Cast it over and over and over and over. Probably throw bait for a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of weird hearing that from me, but uh, I think I'm going to go old school, throw the throw those mice tails on the back of a bobber. And uh, if I can't get anything, I'm just going to have to give in, go fish over there where they plant, where they plant all the fish at over the, by the <clears throat> by the little, little dam by the marina. I'm sure I'll be able to find a spot that's somewhat away from everybody else I just I, I, I know it probably seems weird why I always emphasize that but I just can't stand don't get me wrong I don't mind sharing information with people I don't mind you know hey what you what are you using you have any luck I'm doing this I've done that you know I don't mind that but it's the people that are random random strangers and they want to camp next to you and just talk you know about their their life and all this weird stuff and you know I'm just trying to focus on fishing and clearing my head so that's why I get kind of antisocial when I'm fishing which is weird because I catch fish and put on social media antisocial social weird concept anyways there I go with the anyways again so we'll see trying to get get something get into something for you guys It's 
sir, fish on. Thought it was a snag at first. It's a bass. I might have a nice bass on right now. Oh. Definitely a bass. This might be my first smallie ever. Oh, he is pulling drag. Please don't spit the hook. This might be my first smallmouth ever. Yes, I gotta land. This is my first smallmouth. This is gonna be my first smallie ever. Yes, sir. And a nice one at that. No way. YouTube. My first freaking smallmouth bass ever. Oh my God. I'm so excited right now. YouTube, you don't understand how excited I am right now. First time catching a smallmouth. Oh my gosh, I'm so juiced. I hooked like, oh, that feels like a snag, and it started moving. Definitely not a snag. Beautiful small, small mouth, uh, weighed him. Two pounds, 13 ounces. Oh my God, I'm so juiced right now. Let's get this guy gone. Got a nice picture of him. Oh, so excited. He's gonna, he's gonna be ready to go. There he goes. Thank you for playing along, buddy. Oh man. So excited. I don't know if you guys can see this. That dude annihilated one of Bumblebee's hooks. Thing is straight bent to the side. Jacked it up. I'm out here trying to catch me a trout. Oh man. I'm sorry if I sound stupid or sound like a little kid right now, but I'm so excited. That is my first smallmouth bass ever in a nice two two pound 13 ounce one at that which I understand for from a smallmouth perspective is a really nice fish I'm fighting him on an ultralight pole Shakespeare micro spin six pound P line on and that thing felt like a tank oh man that was awesome so happy right now all right YouTube <laughs> I'm still trying to compose myself right now I mean, just so much, so much going on. Love, love that I, I mean, the first smallie ever. So that's, that's the juice. Obviously that's gonna be my PB, my personal best smallie, cause first one I've ever caught. Um, felt like a freaking tank on this light line. That also means that our multi-species challenge is, uh, is wide open and, and there for the taking. Um, I don't want to say it's automatic if I go over there by the marina to catch a trout, but there's a very, very, very good chance that I can, which I probably will be heading out there in a little bit to do since they just planted this morning. Um, and then if I can get back to my bass spot and catch a largemouth and a trout and a smallmouth in the same day, shoot in the same you know, couple hours, that would be pretty sweet. Man, I'm, I'm so juiced right now. I was looking down kind of looked darker couldn't tell if it was it was a small mouth or a large mouth definitely you know didn't look like a spotty and uh i looked down in the water saw that red eye and i'm like okay that's a that's a that's a small mouth for sure um one of the telltale signs is is their red eyes <sighs> as soon as i saw the red eye I, I, you heard me i was like oh man i have to land this fish <laughs> i'm still I'm still juiced right now. Oh man. Trying to catch trout and catch a freaking nice smallmouth. Oh. oh, this trip is well worth it already. All right, that's it. We're, we're smashing a trifecta today. Let's get a trout, get a large mouth, call it a day. It's an absolute beautiful thing about, you know, these mother load foothill lakes, reservoirs, whatever you want to call them. There's just tons of species of game fish between different kinds of trout, salmon, all different kinds of bass. You really just can't go wrong coming up here. Just saw 
Just saw a fish wake out there. I'm gonna send it. Uh, not quite exactly where he waked up, but it's gonna work. Oh yeah, haven't did this voice yet today. It's a good day. I already sent it. <laughs> I love it, dude. All my, all the guys on my baseball team are watching my YouTube videos, and of course they have to give me a hard time because that's what they do best. But now I got them all hooked on the Larry and Tice. They're just gonna send that. They say it all day at practice. It's hilarious. Now that I know there's bass in the area, might as well pull out one of the bass rods, throw the old jerk bait at him, see if I could. Uh, Hey, if I hook a two pounder on, on my bass rod, I'll be able to get him in a little easier. Thought he was gonna snap my line. Pretty much almost almost broke old Bumblebee there. Took out one of his hooks. I'd like to get a get a smallie on my bass rod. That way I could kind of fight him fight him with a little bit more ease. Wind starting to shift. This uh, cove was completely calm, and now it's now it's kicking up a little bit. Oh, that's a snag. I gotta get this on YouTube. So, obviously, the last clip you saw, I snagged my jerk bait, tied another one on, threw that for a little bit, didn't get a bite. Figured, okay, I'm gonna pack up and uh, and go leave. I turn around just to take one more look at the water and see this little purple thing in the water, which floating. I think that is my jerk bait. So, I'm gonna flip there. Trying to keep my line on top of the water. See if I can hook my line. Missed my line. Try this again. Okay, I see him again. So I'm gonna try not to mess this up. Right in front of me, just floating. He's gotta have a little bit of line still attached to him. Going right by him. Oh, I hit his back. Did I get it? No. When in doubt, bring Robbie Rainbow out. His new name is going to be Robbie the Retriever. Figure bigger hooks might give me a better chance at hooking this guy. Got him! Yes! I'm getting my jerk bait back. Oh, YouTube. I'm so excited right now. Got snagged. Lost him. He got loose. There's my jerk bait. Back from the dead. Looks to be in good shape too. Hook got a little jack in the front. Oh well. Thanks Robbie. You're the best. Robbie earned himself a little swimming time. Giant splash. All the fish know he's here now. I'm thinking if there's bass in this area, one might want to Take a little munch on old Robbie Rainbow. Made it over to the left side of party. Uh, just past the marina, the marina's right there. There's literally guys like shoulder to shoulder in that cove. Must be where they plant, right next to the, the launch, the boat ramp. Some dudes over there there's just people everywhere there's people all up in that cove and now they're all looking at me like oh, that guy's fishing by himself why is he talking one of the many benefits of uh, making content for YouTube is all the weird looks people think that you're uh, pretty crazy <laughs> it's all good currently have one small mouth on the day 2 pounds 13 ounces Trying to get me a trout real quick. If I can get a trout, hopefully, quickly. 
It's about three o'clock, I think. Get down the hill, get to my bass spot, knock out a large mouth real quick, get the trifecta. That'd be pretty sweet. Water's a little bit more murky around here because of the boat traffic, I'm assuming. Pretty shallow too, the water's down. Come on, give me a rainbow trout, huh? Or a cut bow or whatever. Brown trout, green trout, orange trout, I don't care. Something. Terrible toss. Saw a nice trout just follow my spinner in. Decided about four feet from the bank. Hmm. Not interested. Turned back around, took off, so. Might be able to make it happen pretty soon. That, was, that guy looked nice in the water. Pretty decent, pretty decent size. Yeah, he just swam up, kind of trailing two feet behind my spinner and just, eh, I'm out. Took off the bumblebee. We're going with the rodeo clown. Uh, been noticing, trying to look for clues everywhere I go. Notice a lot of uh, like green and pink power bait in the water. Actually got a hint from, or a tip from my buddy Justin uh, shout, shout out to Justin his two boys Jackson Jace the Tomax uh, he was using pink power bait when he was up here opening day slaying it so going with uh, the old rodeo clown might be able to match the hatch as they say trying to get this rainbow so I can Two, two of the three trifectas knocked out. YouTube, I've resorted to the bobber. Mice tail, gotta do it. Gotta get us a trout. <laughs> Seen him come up and surface, so it might be a matter of moments before we to hook into one. Couldn't take it anymore. Don't cast master. Just gonna send it. Losing daylight. I get this trout. Saw one swim like right here. A little baby one. Had the mice still on one at the time. No chance I could go down. There's these little trout just staying around the bank back and forth, teasing me. Just teasing me. I could just get one of those, get onto my bass spot, we could actually make something happen. So I'm running out of time. Put the Ultra 5 back on. Gotta get into one. Running out of daylight. Gotta be back, back home soon. Got some stuff going on. So I need to get me a trout right now. So I can try and hurry up and get to my bass spot, get a bass, get the trifecta call it a day. Hope the ultra vibe can come through right now. There's freaking people everywhere, man. Getting anxiety <laughs> just standing here. Freaking deer don't even know how to use the crosswalk, man. There's deer right there, they were jaywalking. Jaywalkers. Right there, you little jaywalkers. Use the crosswalk next time. <laughs> I did look back at me like, uh, hey, bro, you talking to me? I don't speak deer, so I had to speak to him in English. I'm gonna have to 
have to make this one quick. Running out of battery, running out of daylight. Probably can't even see me as it is. Um, another failed attempt at the trifecta. Got that smallmouth that was super sick. I'm still juiced about that. First smallmouth ever. Nice one too. Um, got him early into my trip and I thought, okay, I got a legit shot. Knew, knew that if I can get a rainbow trout, head back to, to my bass spot, I guarantee I would have got a, a large mouth and com completed the trifecta, but just couldn't get that rainbow trout, man, or any trout to be get, uh, you know, to be honest. I just went over to the, the marina area where they where they stock the trout and the bite kind of just turned off for everybody. I uh, had a few a few followers um, when I got there, but I was there for about two hours and made hundreds of casts through the kitchen sink at them, through Panther Martins, Cast Masters, uh, Rooster Tails, my sale, I, everything you could think of and, and couldn't get anything. And I mean, there's probably a hundred people fishing the bank around me and I didn't, I didn't see one person hook into a fish. I mean, people had stringers from earlier in the day but I didn't see anybody hook into one uh, while I was there. So I think I think the fish just kind of turned off for a, for a bit. So, hey, it is what it is. Failed the trifecta, but you know, a day a day fishing is better than a day working any any any, any day of the week. So um, I'll cut it short. Don't want don't want my battery to die. I appreciate you guys all the support, all the love for the channel. It means a lot trying to grow this thing, trying to grow the brand, and um, all the help and support is much needed. So pass the word share my channel. Let's make this thing grow, all right? I appreciate you guys. I'll catch you on the flip side.